Hey, what's up Capricorn? I hope you guys are all doing really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the second half of September 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Capricorn. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But if you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. But please do keep in mind that for this reading, because it's general, the roles can be reversed, even if you are cross-watching for somebody else. All right, let's see, Capricorn, what is going on with you and another person, second half of September 2022. For the situation, we have the Four of Swords crossed by the Five of Swords. Oh, okay, interesting. Um... Okay, so it feels like there is some kind of a healing that is happening, some kind of a recovery, either from heartbreak, um, but because there was a heartbreak, obviously, if there's the Four of Swords, there was something that caused <clears throat> some kind of pain, there also seems to be a trust issue um, that's kind of like left over. So it's almost like... It could even be that you're not really trusting that you are healing or that you are recovering. We'll see. Of course, this could be your person um, or the other person. So for the recent past, we have the Four of Wands. Okay, so this was definitely a connection that you felt that it could be something very stable or it was very stable. Um, really feeling like, you know, the two of you belong together. And I feel like, you know, this is just how it was and that the both of you felt this way. Um, it does kind of feel like right now, though, there's this lack of trust or somebody is just left feeling betrayed. Uh, let's see. For your energy, we have the King of Cups and the Three of Wands. All right. Um... There's a lot of emotions here. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of feelings that I feel that you carry for this person. I actually feel like this person also has these feelings for you as well, even though we're not looking at their energy yet. I kind of feel like this is also their energy towards you here. But it's coming in as, you know, you knowing this, but then there's this waiting here, almost like, okay, you know, where's this? Where's the love then? It, it's there, but like, where is it? Kind of like, I don't know if you're even looking into the future to see if you can kind of see if it's there or if it's coming. Um, let's see. Let's see what's going on with them. We have the Ten of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so this person is... Um, there's something heavy about their energy, but I, I also get that they're learning from this. I feel like this is somebody who may have been through some kind of a struggle, something that's been very difficult, or they're just feeling like, I don't know, maybe even something in the connection was feeling very heavy for them, almost like just too much for them to, to handle. But there's something here that they're learning from this, and I see them actually wanting to start on a new path possibly let's see what's coming up hmm, the three of swords all right and the message for you is the eight of swords all right okay so difficult situation here capricorn there's a difficult situation that you're finding yourself in um it does feel like you know there's something painful in the near future for one of you or the both of you, but, okay, there's a big but here, okay? Um, the future is never really all written in stone, okay? We have free will, and I say this very often when we have a card like this in the near future because this is like, there's some kind of a message in this for you, okay? And we're gonna see what that is once we get there and we clarify it. But it does feel like, you know, somebody might Feel some kind of a heartbreak. Um, we'll see. We'll see. It could be. It could be the other person. It could be you, depending. Okay, this is something though that you might be able to avoid. All right, because with that Eight of Swords being there as the message for you, I'm getting like 
there's something here that you feel like you might not have control over, but you actually do. Okay, so let's see. Let's clarify that Four of Swords with the Five of Swords. All right, we have the Queen of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Okay. So for some of you, this might even feel like this connection is a little bit passive to the point where it feels like there's a betrayal or maybe there actually was something that was a betrayal but i'm getting that for some of you it's not like um it's not like this person actually did something okay so it might be like 50 50. um so for half of you the one scenario might resonate and then for the other half of you the other scenario might resonate okay so for some of you yes there may be something that this person has done or is doing that is like a betrayal okay like more directly a betrayal for others of you and this is the stronger message that i'm getting is that it just feels like the like somebody here is betraying the connection by actually being so passive because there actually is love here so it's like somebody is not trusting their intuition or somebody is not trusting the love or the emotions that they are that they are feeling I'm even getting that, um, I feel like the other person here is actually somebody who would want this commitment with you. And I feel like some kind of a commitment or some kind of a deep like stability like was actually there at some point recently. So I don't know what it is that has happened, but something has happened. Something has happened here to kind of break that. And so now I, I feel like it's you that's feeling betrayed. Of course, roles can be reversed. All right, let's see. Let me actually see that four of wands in the recent past. Let's see what was happening here. We have the eight of wands and we have the queen of pentacles. Okay, yeah, so I feel like things were actually moving kind of quickly and maybe even this connection like started quickly and things happened quickly um and you know it's like you felt really good about that and it was there was something very deep about it um also just really feeling like yeah you know this is it this is it like this is the one okay let's see for your energy, let's see that King of Cups. And we have the Ace of Wands and the Five of Swords again. All right, a lot of passion here. There's a lot of passion here. And I feel like, you know, this is, because I do feel like there's some kind of a break here. Um, I do also get that you're not, you might not be like fully trusting the process of why this is happening and trusting that you are healing from this you there is something here within this connection that has triggered something in you that needed to be healed possibly from your past and it's happening okay that is healing but i feel like you might not be trusting that um I, and i'm also getting you know this is a person actually that you that you would want to be with okay so if you don't feel like you would want to be with this person maybe maybe this isn't your reading maybe this isn't your story um, cause it feels that way to me. It feels like you would want this and you don't trust that, that you will be with this person. It's like that trust is gone, um, in this, in this connection or in the possibility of the two of you really coming together in a stable, mature way. Let me see the three of wands. All right, we have strength. Okay, so Leo energy and the nine of cups. There's a part of you still wishing for this, um, but again, it, it feels like you're not sure. You're not sure what might happen in the future. Um, 
but yeah, definitely feeling like this is something that you would still want. And I feel like it's taking a lot from you to like refrain yourself from doing something here, from taking some kind of an action. I feel like, you know, you're, you're kind of holding back. Even though this is something you want, you feel like this is a time where you just have to kind of stay put. And maybe it is. Maybe it is. Um, we'll see. We'll see a, a little further down. So let's see what is happening here with this other person. Let's see the Ten of Wands. The Nine of Wands and Justice. Okay, so we also have Libra um, showing up here. So some of you might be dealing with a Libra or someone who has Libra in their charts. Yeah, definitely, like I said, I feel like it's been a struggle for this person. It's showing up again with the Nine of Wands. And this, whatever that that is, it's making them a little bit resistant. Like they're just resisting this. Like I said, I feel like that love is there, the emotions are there, it's all there, and just really feeling like this is where they belong. But there's, there's a huge sense of resisting this. And I don't know if it's that they feel like, you know, there's something that is out of balance or they feel like they almost like they feel like they can't give you what you would deserve because they don't feel like they're capable of that. It, it almost like being able to treat you in the way that they think you deserve to be treated to them feels like this huge um this huge, like, difficult task. So I feel like, yeah, like, this person is actually not trusting in, in their own self. Almost like they don't realize that just their love is enough and that that's all you need. You, you just need to be treated with love and respect. Why do they feel like it's so hard to either please you or to be enough for you? And so they're just resisting this. That's what they're doing and I actually don't know why because it could be different for each of them. Let's see the Page of Pentacles because it does feel like with this page something positive might show up here. There we go. King of Cups and the Hierophant. I'm telling you, see, I knew it when I saw that King of Cups that I, I, I just felt it that it was also their energy towards you. And here it is, the King of Cups um, showing up. So we do have the King of Cups twice and we also have the Queen of Cups, okay? So this to me is a divine connection, number one. And number two, some of you might also be dealing with a water sign, all right? So Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, definitely, we also have Taurus, all right, with the Hierophant here. I feel like this person is actually learning about love, learning about love. There's something about this person where I feel like their beliefs or their traditions or the way that they are accustomed to the way they were brought up possibly in terms of love, it was very distorted. Um, so this is why through this connection, there is something here that they're learning about that. Like, what does it really mean to have emotional stability? Um, to be able to be open emotionally, to be emotionally mature. So I feel like they're actually learning emotional intelligence as well. And also about, about commitment. But there's something here in terms of their tradition or the way that they have grown up or the way that they have been conditioned where love was just something different. And they're discovering a new type of a love with you which is actually pure love, right? It's real love. So yeah, it's it's difficult for them. So they because they feel this from you as well, like that's why it feels so difficult for them to, to feel like they're worthy of that or to know exactly how to be. And so they just, I feel like they just shy away from it. Okay, so then let's see what that Three of Swords is about in the near future. 
the Nine of Swords, and the Fool. I feel like it's going to it's going to be some kind of a trigger. Um, it's it's very stressful. It's very almost traumatic. And I do get that it has to do with the other person here, right? Because it's like because I feel like they're the ones who are shying away from this. And so they're going to feel some kind of a trigger. I don't know what it is that's going to happen. I don't know what it is that you're <laughs> that you're going to do. I don't know if you're planning something or if it's just going to be something that, you know, I hope you're not planning anything. You don't need to. Um, but I feel like it's just going to be something in your energy or something just in the situation that really triggers them. And it is going to be a little painful for them, but that's actually going to push them to do something unexpected possibly or to get them to take some kind of a risk because I feel like what they've been doing is like protecting themselves here. Um, so yeah, that's what that is about. And the fool is actually pretty positive. All right. Um, it's, it's like, okay, you know, seeing something from a different perspective, you know, seeing it from like a blank slate starting over. And so I feel like that pain, and, and it might kind of, I don't know how long it's going to last, but it doesn't feel like it's an overnight thing with that nine of swords being here. It, it feels like it's going to be like one big trigger. And then, yeah, that just like kind of pushes them over the edge. Like, all right, I got to do something. So let's see the eight of swords for the message for you. The Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Wands. Okay, good. All right, so the message for you is that, you know, you are not trapped in this. Things are not as stuck as they seem. All right, the wheel is turning. There is something here that's almost like faded, even though, like I said, you know, we have free will, so we have control. Yes, but certain things are being orchestrated. There are certain things, you know, that are meant to be on our paths, and then the free will will determine, you know, the twists and turns that happen, right? Um, so yeah, definitely things can shift and I feel like things will shift towards the better with the six of wands. I'm getting here, you know, for you to just not make sure that you're not in like some kind of victim mentality and don't feel like this is like a dead end. Just allow things to be what they are. Allow things to be what they are. You know, just take control over your own life and move forward. I feel like this, this Six of Wands being the very last card is very, very positive, right? Because it talks about success and having an achievement. It's a victory. So you can have victory over this if you're feeling like you're just trapped in all of this. You know, it's kind of like, look at the bigger picture. There's, and you might not be able to see it, but know that there is a bigger picture that you might not be able to see just yet, all right? And I do see this person, like I said, this person is learning. This person is learning about love through this. So yeah, a little difficult energies um, for now, but... I feel like these are actually temporary and then, you know, it's usually connections like this that in the long run are, are worth it, you know, unless you're, if you're feeling like this, this connection is not for you, you know, trust that. Trust your own intuition. This is just what I'm seeing here. All right, Capricorn, let's see. Final message for you for an Oracle card and we have Imagine. Yeah. I feel like, you know, this is all about expanding, expanding your imagination, right? Using visualization to just expand. Don't stay limited like this eight of swords, you know, feeling like, okay, dead end. There's no way out. Like I'm just going to be, you know, hurting forever and this just sucks, all right? Imagine all the other possibilities of you being happy regardless of whether you are or are not with this person. All right, Capricorn, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.